Hey guys, Allie with Tip B. Uh, today we're going to look at an app called Note and Share. Uh, I already looked at an app called Markdown Mail. Uh, this is very similar, but you've got a lot more options with this. Um, first, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the tabs up here on the top. You've got this, which will save your notes, the first tab right here. Um, the second one is to send it to Evernote. And it'll automatically do that. I already have mine saved, my Evernote information and settings. I can tweet it or I can email it. And as you see here, I have wrote this in Markdown. The first line that you type here will always show up as the subject of the email. So if I go to email this, it'll show that I have uh, my grocery list here. It'll show it in Markdown. So I'm going to cancel that and delete that draft. Um, right here, I can go and upload an image. Um, I can just go to my photo library and choose, I don't know, I'm just going to throw a random image in here. So maybe I want this image of my dog. And what it'll do is it'll create a link shortener link and then it'll insert it right there. So to save this note, I can just click that again and save it. Um, I can also go to uh, this little box icon down here and that'll bring up my notes. So my to-do list right here. Um, this also supports uh, landscape. I won't flip it though just because it'll throw off the video. Um, to clear a note, you can simply tap that little X and it'll clear it. You can start typing again so I can do a tip B to-do list and start typing that. Um, to save it, just tap that box again. Or wait, not the box, up here. It'll save it, and then it'll show up in my little box of notes. Um, overall, I really like this app. I believe it's a little bit cheaper than uh, Markdown Mail as of right now it is anyway. Um, the only thing I don't really like is the text entry field is pretty small. Um, it looks better on the iPad if you have an iPad. The iPad version gives you a little bit more space to see. Um, I'm doing this on the iPhone just because the tutorial is a little bit easier, but um, I'll include screenshots of the iPad version as well. In here in your configuration, you'll see you have your sound effects, your markdown conversion, um, which you can toggle on and off. You can add, you know, enable all these different settings. You can install a Safari bookmarklet. Um, down here is a little bit of information on the app. Under services, you can go ahead and configure tons of services. Note, clipboard, Dropbox, Evernote, Google, Twitter, Plurk, email. I don't know what Plurk is, but some of you guys might. Um, email, SMS, um, ATOC pad, I'm not quite sure what that is either. Um, and then down here is where you're going to input your account information for all of your different accounts. So I have my Dropbox, my Evernote, Google, and Twitter um, synced with this. But overall, I would say this app is well worth the value. Um, I have not experienced any real bugs with this app. It's been pretty smooth. Um, like I said on the iPhone, I just wish, you know, the text entry field was a little bit bigger, but I don't really know if there's anything they're going to be able to do about that just because you're limited with screen size. The iPad's a little bit better. Um, so check out those screenshots if you guys have picked this up or have another app that you use to uh, keep notes and sync them between different services or that you uh, use for Markdown. Uh, let us know in the comments. Thanks, guys.